How would you like your eggs? I'm sorry, Captain. What did you say? I said good morning. Now, how would you like your eggs while the pan is still hot? Good morning, Captain. Medium basted, lightly seasoned with celery, salt, and paprika. Not too sunny. Brown toast, no butter, and a little honey, if that's not too much trouble. No trouble. I'm sorry, Captain, if I seem out of sorts this morning. I didn't get much rest last night, and when I finally did fall asleep, I had the strangest dream. Sorry to hear that. Do you want to tell me about it? Not really, but I know you're curious. Started out quite ordinary. A rerun, so I knew it was a dream. Water squirrels and sea monkeys, birds everywhere. Well, I explored the ocean floor, looking for sunken treasure mostly. Then the ocean floor gave way and I went with it like I usually do and found myself observing hell. Oh my. Oh no, Captain, I was ready for it. Remember I said it was a rerun? That's when it took a strange turn and in my dream. I woke up in an underground parkade, and I was being given the opportunity to start my life all over again by simply entering an elevator that would take me to the top or the other end. See, the elevator shaft represents the corridor of life, and it seems the end is at the top in this dream scenario. I get in the elevator, and the new accordion lead is there. Just him and me in this elongated elevator, and he starts in on me while the elevator begins its ascension. Nice and smooth, but it was fast, and we were arguing something fierce. What was the argument? About. I don't know. It was in his native tongue, which should have tipped me off that it was still part of the dream. But I think that may happen in dreams sometimes, so we can look back and laugh at ourselves later. Well, what happened next? What happened next is I woke up. I probably slept for less than a half hour. I think you're right. That was the strangest dream. I wonder what it all means. I know exactly what it means, Captain. It means I'm going to be tired doing my deliveries this afternoon. It also means my current state of affairs is starting to affect my sleep pattern. Left unresolved, it will most likely continue to hinder proper rest and could even promote increased irritability and spontaneous irrational behavior. Talk about a nutshell. What do you mean by that, Captain? A clear and concise set of congruent ideas. Oh, that kind of nutshell. So now that you have identified that resolution is in order, what are you going to do about it? I suppose it's time I take a good look ahead while I put some of those things from my troubled past past behind me. With Lady Girl gone, I suppose it's time for me to consider moving on. It sounds like it may take some time for you to sort things out. You know me, Captain. I always try to get things done quick as I can. Now how about those eggs? just sound different because I'm using the cordless phone. chance to spit shine and power buff my wheels. Whatever you say, dog. Sometime this afternoon. Good morning, Captain. What's going on in here? Good morning. I heard you sawing logs last night like nobody's business. I guess your quick response philosophy rid you of the restlessness and the vivid dreams. No, Captain. This time there were three lead accordion guys in the elevator, but I didn't bite. Just laid on the floor in the parkade watching the elevator door open and close till I fell asleep in my dream. Oh my, maybe it's best to shop around for another new accordion lead. No, Captain. I have subconsciously associated my newfound troubles with a newfound acquaintance. Merely incidental. This has nothing to do with the new lead accordion guy. I can't even remember his name right now. It's Guy. Why can't I remember that? 
I can sleep through the torments. What woke me up was a call from Doc before 11.30. Seems now that he has his piano out of the tune-up shop. He wants to make it sparkle. I told him I would take it round trip to the wax and glow. Best part? While they make Doc's piano shine, I can get the GXT 59er looking new again across the street with a power buff at the super soaker. 59er? The red truck I pulled out of the grass in the backyard. Now what's up with the blender? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. TGIF. It's Smoothie Friday. What do you mean, Captain? On Fridays, I like to mix a bit of ice cream in with my yogurt and fresh fruit in the blender for breakfast. Smoothie Friday. No, I mean the other thing. TGIF? Thank God it's Friday. Really, Captain? A four-letter acronym? That will never catch on. Hmm. A little hard starting this morning. Kind of like my truck. I think we'll both feel better once we've been to the super sober. Professor, I should have known you would make it back from England in plenty of time to go to the singles club with me. We haven't missed a Friday night since the club started up. Dude should be back soon and we can get him to help us bring Doc's piano into the studio before we go. Already done, Captain. Singles club? Yeah, dude. The professor and I have been part of the club for years. You're welcome to tag along on our boys' night out. It might just take your mind off your troubles for a while. I don't know, Captain. A singles club might be a bit awkward for me. I've been out of the loop for quite some time and the wound is still fresh. You will be fine. It's just a casual get-together for singles down at the local mega church. And everyone is welcome. Well, if the two of you have been going there for years, and you are both still single, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to try something new. Well, hello, Captain. Who's your friend? Dude's all right. He's been staying with me a while, and the professor and I brought him along. Great t-shirt, dude. I've got the same one at home. Excuse me, fellas. That's a no-no. The pastor's wife is back again. She would have thrown me off with that blue wig, but she's wearing the same short skirt she had on the last time I escorted her out. <laughs> Where should we stop first, Professor? The bakery or the bookstore? Ice cream and apple pie. I've got to hand it to you, Captain. You really know how to show a fellow a good time. I might even consider joining up with your club. Everyone is welcome. The best part is that all you have to do to qualify is be single. 